Another violent week here in Baltimore. We know of two shootings just today. Eight people were shot yesterday. Two of them are dead. We're on a pace to lose 300 lives to violence for the seventh straight year. And people are understandably losing their patience and their energy. WMER 2 News' is Eddie Kadem talked to some leaders in the fight for peace in our city. He joins us now live from Baltimore City Police Headquarters. Eddie, people want better results from the police and the mayor, but it goes beyond that, doesn't it? Yeah, Jamie and Kelly, we all want something pretty simple. We want our children to reach their 20s without being put in handcuffs or a coffin. Of course, the mayor, the police department, they have their long-term plans, but there's people who are on the front lines fighting for peace every day, and they want you, everybody watching at home, to join that fight. Every crime scene has a story. Something led to the pain and devastation behind the evidence markers and crying mothers. I hear who they were and what they were doing in their life, and sometimes I hear about the situation, and so I get to understand how misguided people are a lot of times, especially when it's something like a 14 or 15 year old actually committed this kind of, of crime. Erica Bridgeford with Baltimore Ceasefire is there when a life is lost in this city, but she's also working diligently before the violence happens. And she says that's something everyone could and should be doing. It is your business when you hear that conflicts are happening and you do have a better idea about calming somebody down, talking somebody out of something. It is all of our responsibility to be doing that with one another. The We Our Us movement will be at 1400 East Federal Street at noon Saturday. They're focusing on that area because three teens and a 12 year old were shot while sitting outside on Tuesday. When you see murders and you see shootings of our young people, our young boys and young girls, um, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16 year olds, and they're on both sides of the gun, some behind a trigger, um, some are, are, are being shot um, and some are being murdered. So it's extremely important that we remain diligent, um, that we remain consistent in our efforts to change the culture um, in this city. We Our Us has helped connect thousands of people in need with jobs and drug treatment. They are always calling on all men to join them. And while we continue to press in our assignments, emotionally, man, is draining. Uh, it is draining to see so much happening on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, but that's another reason why we can't quit. Well, I already shot that. Again, 1400 East Federal Street, We Our Us. They will be walking the streets over there. You can join them. You can learn more about them. You can learn more about Cease Fire. It's easy to join them, and they could use your help. We have links on our website, WMAR2news.com. Live in downtown Baltimore, Eddie Kadem, WMAR2news. All right.